Hey everyone, it's Brian. In this video, I'm giving you my top five tips for how to pass calculus in college. Number five, by the way, is something I never hear anyone talking about. And if you want to see more videos on how to get through your class, make sure to calculate the like button. If it turns blue, you know your answer is correct. That way, I know to make more videos on this topic and the YouTube algorithm knows to show them to you. My first tip on how to pass calculus in college is to become very organized with your course. What does that mean? I mean you should have a very clear system, whatever works for you, about what assignments are due, when they're due, when the tests are, exactly which topics are going to show up on the tests, and any other logistical things that might be pertinent to your course. That may be obvious or maybe not, but calculus is a very structured course. You have to be very up to date and on top of the material you're going to be tested on. I've worked with plenty of students who had a test coming up but they weren't even sure what was going to show up on the exam. And it's a real bummer when you think you're prepared and you go to take the test only to find there's a huge section that you didn't realize was going to be on the test, so you never studied for it. Since you're getting so organized, you might as well follow my second tip for how to pass college calculus. And that is to be very mindful about how you study. The concepts in calculus, or really any math class, are unlike your other classes. In fact, I suggest studying much more frequently and well more in advance than you probably expect you need to. You probably just need a lot more practice and time to digest the material than you might expect. It would be great while you're doing all this planning to set aside a dedicated time slot each week, maybe a few times each week, dedicated to just studying calculus. A weekly study group is a fantastic idea. For example, maybe every Monday and Wednesday night you all meet at the library to do your homework and study calc. I had a study group like this when I was going through the calculus sequence and it immensely helped my grade. We could ask each other questions, quiz each other, and we were all on track to get our work done. My third tip for how to pass calculus in college is to study in the conditions that will be like the test. For example, if you know your test will have 15 questions with a time limit of an hour and a half, you should set up a practice test for yourself under those conditions and pretend you're taking a test. Many students, when they take the actual test, find they don't have enough time to finish it, or maybe they just don't have as much time as they would have liked. This is probably because when you're usually studying or doing your homework, there's really no time limit. If you practice the way the test will be given, you won't run into this problem. And I mean practice like you'd be taking a test. Don't look at any of your notes, set a time limit, and then score yourself to see how you did. Which questions did you miss? Which questions did you spend too much time on? These are things we would like to know before we take the test. And if you really want to up your game with this, I would suggest practicing with questions that will be even harder than that you would expect to be on the test. I kind of think of it like going to the gym and lifting weights. If you can lift practicing 100 pounds, well, then it's really going to be easy to lift 75 pounds. My fourth tip on how to pass calculus in college is to utilize online resources. Now more than ever, there is an abundance of free online help for you, including videos, practice tests, you name it. Shameless plug here, my own YouTube channel has hundreds of videos which can help you out. But there are plenty of channels on YouTube that can help you out with your math at all different levels. This is especially important in calculus if you miss a class and you need to catch up. In other classes, you might be able to miss a few classes and not be hurt too bad. But in calculus, if you miss a few classes, you're missing key concepts, key theorems, key examples that you will definitely need to know. So if you're ever unclear with a concept or if you miss a class, make sure to utilize online resources and videos so you can catch up. My fifth tip on how to pass calculus in college is when you're practicing, don't skip the questions you know how to do. I've fallen into this trap so many times while preparing for a test. I'm practicing, I'm doing the problems, and I come across a relatively easy question. I see it and I say, oh, I know how to do that one. I can skip that one. Now just from experience, I know that when I say something like this, I know I'm setting myself up to fall into a trap. The test would come and there would be that type of easy problem that I skipped 
and it turns out oh, I didn't know it as well as I thought I did. It's very easy to trick yourself into being confident when you're studying. So I recommend don't skip problems that you know how to do. Go ahead and complete those anyway. It'll be worth your time and you might just find out that you didn't know them as well as you thought you did. Now if you really want to know why people fail calculus, then click the video on the screen. It has some info in there I think you'll enjoy. I'll see you in that one.